Mina, konnichiwa. It's actually the afternoon this time. Jesus Freaking Gamer here. If you've been in church for any length of time, you've heard this story. If you haven't, here's a classic for you. Judges chapter 6, starting at verse 11. Now the angel of the Lord came and sat under the terebinth tree, which was in Ophrah, which belonged to Joash the Abizrite, while his son Gideon threshed wheat in the winepress in order to hide it from the Midianites. Um, at this point in time, the Lord was allowing the Midianites to harass the Israelites, and they would routinely come in and destroy a lot of the Israelites' crops, thus impoverishing the nation. And so Gideon's hiding in a wine press and threshing wheat in there to hide from the Midianites. And the angel of the Lord appeared to him and said to him, The Lord is with you, you mighty man of valor. Gideon said to him, O oh my Lord, if the Lord is with us, why then has all this happened to us? And where are all his miracles, which our fathers told us about, saying, Did not the Lord bring us up from Egypt? But now the Lord has forsaken us and delivered us into the hands of the Midianites. Then the Lord turned to him and said, Go in this might of yours, and you shall save Israel from the hand of the Midianites. Have I not sent you? So, you got this guy hiding in a wine press, and the Lord saying to him, the Lord is with you, you mighty man of valor. Go in this mind of yours, and you shall save Israel from the hand of the Midianites. Have I not sent you? Sometimes we are incredibly weak in our own eyes, and we might actually be genuinely and truly very, very weak. But the Lord sees something a lot deeper in us. The Lord has a much higher purpose for us. And in both sentences, the Lord is with you. Have I not sent you? It's not about how strong we are, just as it's not how strong the Israelites were at the time. It's how strong our God is. I'm going to do another section on this tomorrow because I think part two is also very, very important to understanding how we are mighty in the Lord, how Gideon became a mighty man of valor and became what God called him to be. But just because you don't perceive yourself that way, even if you are genuinely weak now, you're, you're in the dark, you're hiding, you're scared, you're alone. If the Lord is with you, and if you're a Christian, He is with you, then you can be a mighty man or woman of valor. Thank you guys very much for watching this. I love you guys. God bless.